Well, good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning, May 2nd, I believe is today. And uh, I'm out here on Lake Talcum today with my brother who's in town. And we're going to mess with his Hog Island boat. I believe that's the name of it. And he has, uh, he's got himself set up with a uh, live scope and side scan. And he wanted my help to figure out how to use it. So we're going to go out here on Lake Talcum today and we're gonna peel around on the lake and I'm gonna see if I can teach him a little bit about how to use this stuff and we're gonna take the camera along and see if we can't make a little video out of it and maybe you guys will learn something too so hang with us and uh, we'll see you on the water alright guys if you got a transducer it has to be lowered remember to do it before you put your boat in the water amen <laughs> Otherwise, you end up having to do all kinds of contortions. All right, now we're good. Hey right, guys, this is my brother, Todd Browning. Todd, morning. say hello to my subscribers here. Good morning, YouTube subscribers. <laughs> Thanks. I'm the, I'm the less famous brother. <laughs> all right, let's see if this spot lock works. This all right, so we got a we got a lot of things to do this morning on his boat. He's just getting with technology, so. He rigged him up a spot lock on his. What kind of trolling motor is that, Ty? That is a Power Drive V2. Power Drive V2 that he slicks spot lock to. So the first thing we got to do this morning is find out whether or not his spot lock's going to work. Alright, let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay. Motor not found. So the whole motor don't work. That seems bad. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> not a good start to the day. All right, now we found it. Feels like it's moving. That's a good thing. There you go. Okay, so we're good there. So we got propulsion. We got propulsion. So if your motor don't work, we can get back to the dock. Okay, so that's good. So at least we know my spot lock. Well, we know your trolling motor works. Head unit is talking to the motor at least. All right. Well, hit, hit spot lock and see if it'll stay, stay in the spot. All right, I'm going to just turn the motor off first. You might want to slow us down a little bit. I, said, I got to figure <laughs> out. Let me figure out how to turn it off. Okay, so there's off. So I'm about to spot lock it and see what happens. I want to hold on to something. Okay. Well, that's not nearly really as fast and dramatic as my Voltrex is. So, how you like me now? That's like working. That. Yes. Yes. All right. It looks like it's trying to do its thing. Ah. Ah. Hopefully it knows not to just continue to wrap around in a circle. I think it, I think it is, but you want to keep an eye on your cables. Yeah. And make sure that they don't get pulled out of the head unit because mine did that. So while it's doing that, let's make sure we got some extra. All right, guys, we're going to, we got a mud motor behind us. So we're going to turn this off for a minute. All right, guys, sorry about that. We had a mud boat up here and it was getting, getting kind of noisy. So now we're, we've confirmed that the spot lock works. So now we're going to test his GPS capability. So we're going we're gonna to ease up here to a stump and he's going to mark it with a waypoint. And then we're going to back off from it and see how far away from it a standard cast would be on his screen. So he knows how far to be from his waypoints when he wants to uh, fish them. So, so we're going to go over to that second stop just because it's kind of out of the way a little bit. You can do that, but I'd go to that first one because there's likely to be more stumps over there that you're going to run into. <laughs> don't really matter. You know, we got a jet drive and a plastic boat. Well, I just don't want you to break your spot lock on no, the true. first five minutes out here on the water. Good point, good point. All right, I'm gonna turn this off until we get our spot marked and uh, then we'll uh, turn it back on.
I got waypoint threes on there, so the network's working. All right, guys. So what we did was we're gonna turn the boat around here in a second, but we 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 drove up to a stump and we marked that stump on his humming, hummingbird helix that's on his dash, and then we made sure that it networked and that it showed up up here on this screen. So now we can see the waypoint we marked, and he's got his range set on 50 feet. So we're gonna turn around. We're actually I'm gonna actually zoom you out to. 100 feet because that 50 foot is pretty tight so we're at 100 feet so it gets a little bigger view of what's around him and now we're going to ease up towards that waypoint so that he can see how far his boat is from that dot when he's about a casting distance away from his waypoint that'll give him some reference when he's easing up to a number to look at it so here we are and if you can see it looks like we're pretty close to that waypoint looking at it on that screen at 100 feet but the stump we marked is probably a good way up 20, there. 20, 25 yards up. Is that the right stump? Yeah, so you can see the stump. It's not the stump, it's not the stump on the left, it's the stump farther up right in the edge of the shade. So so if you're looking at your screen down here, it looks like we're really co really close to it. Now I will say this, you see how it's got a circle around your boat? Yep. That means the boat's not moving very much, and the boat and the and your GPS is not sure which way you're going. Okay, there so that's goes. what it does. All right. All right. So now you're about what? I'm about uh 35 yeah, feet. Yeah, probably 35 feet. So that's probably about a good pitch. All right. So it, I'm gonna lock if it. If you right. look at your screen, your your boat shows up on top of the thing. So we're gonna we're gonna zoom it in. So we spot locked there so we can back up a little bit to where we were yep. to about an average pitch. Yep. So now there's something you, that you're going to have to play with and work on. So it, looking at your screen, it actually looks like your boat is on top of your waypoint when you're 20 feet from it. Okay. So that's uh, that's something that, that you'll have to work on a little bit and try to figure out as you play with your boat. Yep. Otherwise, you're going to have a real hard time lining up on the waypoint. Lining up on the stump on, on the bottom trying to figure out where it is. Let me zoom in some more. Yep. So you may have to get all the way down to to like 10 feet to get a feel. Yeah, to get a feel. Because your screen's so much smaller, that distance is that distance cannot be correct on that thing. <laughs> There's got to be something going on with your distance on here. I'm almost positive we're seeing more than 10 feet of the lake. Oh, I see. So that's 10 feet on your screen. So that's 10 feet from your boat. So that's probably about that's 10 getting feet. pretty close. We're yeah. we're maybe I would say we're 15 or 16 feet away from that waypoint. And that looks like about about right. It's about right. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right. So now it's 20 foot. So you can see about how far you are at 20 foot. Yep. Which is just a nice distance away. So that's how close you're going to look like you are on your screen. Yeah, about a, about a to be 20 foot. Yep. Now, if you get a heading indicator and hook it to this thing, you won't get that circle where your boat icon is because the um, GPS will be able to know which way your boat's oriented, so you'll have your boat icon on there. Yeah, that's, that's a little white round Garmin things that you can buy. You have a little white round puck, a little puck. puck. Yep, and you take your compass and move it around and make sure you mount it somewhere that's not getting a magnetic interference. Okay helps with that cool all right so we got that working okay so that works do you want to turn the live scope on do you want to turn it on one time and set some settings on or do you want to yeah. try to find a school of fish and then do it well you tell me i don't care i'm easy i would say you set it up now okay so let's and make sure it works all right so i'm gonna get it out this is my transducer which i'm just going to hook get it okay, now what kind of pole you got for you so i bought a so what i did since i didn't have a, anything to mount it to on the front of my boat I bought this fishing specialties adjustable mount and they come in all different with all different front mounts that you can there some of them are custom designed for specific boats and then they also make just kind of a standard flat mount and this is just a, a little piece of UHMW board and this is all adjustable for height and you can get longer arms and for mine it just it literally drops in and then it's got a little set thing that just bends to hold it in place and then you can turn it whichever direction you want to that's pretty sweet that's a nice looking setup so that's 
keeps it clean works on my boat since it just has a flat bow on it you know work on probably most boats looks awesome well, let's let's turn this let's turn all this right. line scope on line scope's on it can be on all right we have power That's all right good yeah. start and and what do you get your line scope hooked to uh as far as batteries, batteries. so look, i'm running a group 27 battery in here uh, which is powering this front hummingbird it powers a live scope and it powers a trolling motor okay um, guys that ain't so, gonna work long term i know so my brother didn't take my advice in my video when i told him to get a separate battery so you got a paddle in here <laughs> so the the mo <laughs> the actual motor is actually on a separate battery okay so, all right um, so we can't get back to the boat so, ramp because we're gonna kill this trolling so motor when we, this last so when we kill this battery we can still get home all right all right so we need to set this thing up so let's just never been so let's just yeah let's set it up get you go through your english and all right, right so whatever it is all right there you go all right so, so now we're to the main screen i guess all right so let's let's play with your pan optics so that's what you're here for so hit, hit pan optics on that okay and there you are and look at there so that's that is default right out of the factory first time it's been on and that's you know look around with that's really not a very bad picture look at there. there's a fish right there go back the other way now if you notice you're going you're going to want to turn your the slower you turn your handle the better the better you're going to be able to see fish and stuff but mm -hmm. you know you got to use it look there. there's a fish swimming under the boat right there yeah and we just sitting here at the boat ramp so that's not a bad picture so let's set some of the standard defaults okay so we're going to go into your you, you do it all right so you go into your menu uh menu down here yep go to sonar setup uh sonar setup yep let's go to tvg is off that's good okay noise reject go to noise reject I right here yeah i'd start that on high you can see what it did it changed it so that cleared up the screen a little bit it right? did i'm gonna set it so people can see what happens medium it gets a little more fuzzy but a little looks like you could actually get a little more and then noise reject if you turn it way down you get a lot yep so so I'm gonna put it on high. Put it on high. That clears your picture up okay. a bit. Back. All right. So that's all. That's really that's all we need to do on the screen. Look, so you can want something. Yeah, it's got some fish swimming around in yeah. there. And there's a school of shad right there. Check them out. <laughs> school of shad. That's pretty cool. cool. At the boat ramp. All right. So let's let's, back. let's clear that menu. Let's see what we got. All right. Back. So our gain. Our depth is on auto forward range is on auto do we want to set those okay so what i do is i like to run my gain around 60 to 64 so why don't we go to manual gain which is that's what the auto's got it on anyway so they're really doing a pretty good job with the auto but you can set it yourself or you can use the auto most people like to be able to change it up and down while you're actually fishing so they kind of take it off auto and do it 62 yep 62 is good so I'm gonna leave it on 62. Yep, so that'll work for now, just to get you started. Okay. So now we got now we got a pretty good picture. You can see that big old school of fish in front of us one down in the bottom. We got a pretty good picture. Now you got a lot of interference here, and a lot of times what you can do is you if you can play with your gain a little bit, we'll turn it down, see how that goes away. Mm -hmm. Now you got a now you see mostly the fish and not all that okay. clutter. So that that can be changed as you know as with the different water water clarities and whatever you're coming okay. at, whatever you're coming across now the color gain is going to show how bright these fish are these dots when you turn up that color gain that'll get that'll get brighter and like more intense and a lot of times if you if you want to use that color gain you can use that to help your jig show up better okay and i i run mine on default because it seems to do a pretty good job on default and i'm you know i'm busy trying to catch fish and i just don't want to constantly be playing with my my screen but if you need to do that um you can do that okay to help it out but there you go right off the bat you got a auto range do you just leave is the range is the distance here yep now the range i like to run mine about 30. So okay, i so kick mine out there about 30 feet because that is okay that is about a a underhand pitch with a jig so you me. can either use this right here or you can just hit up here yep, you can do it either way and this is the garmin 106 i believe 10 yeah. inch 
yours is not showing the depth up and up and down so on this side yeah so i'm not sure what's going on there we may have to we may have to figure out how to how to do that on yours because normally it has a little depth up up and down on that's this not side. what this over here is one two three four five seven that eight. is showing you the depth but i'm talking about a, a way to quickly adjust it oh i got you so see you know we're in five six feet of water yeah so if we're in 20 foot of water we need to so it's oh, we need it's to we need right to there. be able to adjust that depth range Still didn't show Range, it. Gain. What's so, the, we we're not we're not seeing the edit overlays maybe. None. Bottom bar none. Nope. All right, so mine already had that on so i have not had to look for that but let's see if we can find this all right guys we're gonna have to figure this out then i'll turn the camera back on all right guys we, we cannot figure out how to get this usually like mine has a depth range right here kind of like this button where you can set the depth up and up and down quickly and i must have done something to turn that on but i have not found how to do that if you guys know how to do that let us know in the comments so we got a pretty good picture you can see there's quite a few fish swimming around in this right here at the boat ramp and there might even be a few crappie hanging out in here but there's definitely quite a few fish swimming around right here by the by the boat ramp this goes to show you don't have to take off down the lake and go a long way away to find fish there's some schools of shad in there's definitely some fish swimming around chasing them see the fish right there above that school of shad all right, so we're gonna do, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all this in the boat and we're gonna get out here on, we're gonna look at his Helix 10 on the dash and we're gonna idle around out here and see if we can teach him how to find fish and crappie on this Helix and get his side sand scan setting set up. And uh, you know guys, if any of you guys are interested in uh, going out with me and learning how to use your electronics and at some point I'm gonna post up a, a way to contact me and I'm gonna start doing that a little bit on the side and uh, uh, for a fee so uh, that may be something I offer to you guys in the future if you are interested in doing that so we're gonna put this off and we're gonna get situated at the console and go start looking for some fish contour lines. all right guys so we're gonna show you what to do we're out here in 17 foot of water but you can see there's contour lines here and there's a hump here we're gonna we're gonna look along these contour lines and I've been finding fish kind of up on, you know, up in that 10 to 15 foot of range. So we're gonna get out of this really deep water and we're gonna get near these contour lines and we're just gonna idle these contour lines, kind of look around in this and we're gonna just explore and just follow all the contour lines we can find looking for looking for fish. And Todd, if you wanna get down here, you're the, you can, you're the one that needs to learn how to spot these fish so All right, here we go. we're gonna just start doing some looking and see if we can't come across and I guys I don't know how good a picture you're gonna have on this boat with the glare and all but we're gonna get up here and we're gonna aisle around and just see if we can find something show them what what these fish look like if we can find some so just bear with us I'm gonna probably turn this off in a minute and then we'll turn it back on if we actually see some fish but uh, but that's what we're doing we're just we're just on the lake and we're just following contour lines and trying to be in the depth of water that uh, you know that we the fish should be in this time of year and sometimes it just takes a takes a while of looking to to find some and that's what we're going to do so if you'll just kind of follow the edge of this you know in about that 10 to 12 foot of water we're at 13 foot right now we'll uh we'll do a little looking around and we'll see if we can find some if we can find some we'll go back and forth them across them a couple times and show you guys what they what they look like all right guys so we we went by a tree i don't know if you can see it but there's a tree showing up in his water column right here and it looks like there might be some fish sitting right underneath that tree so we're going to make a circle here we're going to make another pass by that a little bit farther off to the side and get them over a little bit more and see what kind of picture we get and then we're going to take a look at it with the live scope and see if it, see if that's crappie all right so if you'll just turn us around and head us back in that direction 
and this time instead of going right over the number go by it just just right on one side of it put them out here a little bit farther on the screen okay and we'll see what kind of picture you get you, you know obviously you can see them in your water column so you already got one way of spotting them when they're yeah. suspended up off the bottom That's what it takes. It just takes a, a lot of hours of just idling around looking. You gotta get your idle games straightened out. Yeah, one, one boat, of these, boat, one, boat control is important. One of the issues we found this morning already is this extended tiller is not good for two guys sitting back here trying to do this. I'm having to hold the tiller up. <laughs> well, if it was just you, it wouldn't be so yeah. bad. So that's a good thing to learn when you're setting your boat up all right so that should be the tree right here on our left all right so we don't have as good a picture going this at this angle as we did but if you can see right here there's actually a couple little shadows right there and what you can do todd is in the future if you find some something that looks like it's got some fish on it mm -hmm. you can keep going by that and messing with your with your settings for this and see if you can make those actually show up a little better for your unit. All right, so let's turn around to the boats facing into the wind, which I think is coming from behind us. And then we'll put our live scope down and we'll ease up on this tree with that live scope. And we'll see if that's a, uh, if there's fish there. And Sounds good. What they look like. Maybe we'll catch a few of them. All right, guys, hang with us. Guys, so we have stopped and now we've got our live scope down and our trolling motor down. And we're gonna move up here to the bow. Some of you guys probably can't see the screen. So the first thing you want to do, Todd, is you want to set your depth on here so that the bottom's showing up. So go to menu. That's out, you're right. So menu. menu yep. Depth range. And scroll down a little bit. Make it a little bit more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back there up right about there all right so now we can see the bottom on the screen i'm sorry if you guys can't see that because we got a bad glare in the middle of the day out here doing this all right so let's you got your waypoint spotted on you you got them hummingbird so you're gonna slowly ease us up there to it while you look for it here change sides with me so you can okay. look at your well you're not gonna be able to see your waypoint yeah you? i can see it see that okay so we're going to ease up there towards those waypoints and we're going to look for that tree on that slide scope. Let's see, we're coming up towards the waypoints. So you're going to want to go slow because your boat's going to have momentum and so it'll, it'll keep going and you'll run them over. So you're starting to get a tree down there. You see, see the tree? Yep. So there's some fish suspended on that tree. So you can, you're running them over. You're 20 feet from them. There you go. So there's your fish right there. So now you're, they're off the, the right side of the boat. Mm -hmm. So you could spot lock right here. A little close, but that's okay. We're running. So we'll spot right there. And you guys, you can see it. There's a couple of fish on this tree right here. So now that you got yourself spot locked, yep, you were spot locked. Making sure I'm locked. Okay, I got the anchor down. All right, now get your fishing rod and we'll see if you can get you a cast or two on that and see if that see if that is crappie if you can get any attention from it. I don't know about this calamity. He he managed to hook something out of <laughs> this tree. First fish on the live. <laughs> we'll see calamity. what it is. Let's see what he's got. I, I'm not convinced this is a crappie. If I think it is, he, I'm mounting this rifle. I think you find him a school of catfish, but. Yeah, there's no way that's a crappie. No, that's not a crappie. <laughs> if he is, then. Well, at least you got your first fish on the live scope. That's right. So the hog island with the live scope and the jet actually worked, y'all. <laughs> there he is down there. You can see him swimming around down there on the live scope. I'll run him back in front of this live scope. Let's see. Where's he at? There he is down there. There he is. Oh, yeah. There ain't no way. That, that's a big old fish. That's a catfish. That's a catfish, I'm sure. <laughs> You gonna slime me oh, up? Yeah. Oh yeah! Real nice, shiny catfish. Look at that, y'all. There you go. 
How about that? We actually got a fish on video today. Look at that. That's awesome. Live scopes are not just for, they're not just for uh, <laughs> crappie. They work for catfish too. How about that? <laughs> I size 10 catfish. Anybody want some catfish for dinner? <laughs> All right, guys. So we idled down the lake. We found something that looked like fish and he got on his live scope and he's got his first live scope nice crappie. size crappie. First live, Let's see that thing. First live scope crappie in the hog island. Look at there. <laughs> All right. Well, one of my hand, hand tied jigs that he called it. I like that. It works, y'all. Success. How about that? Live scoping works for crappie. On the first cast. All right. Sadly, good, we'll put him, good put him man. back where, where to go. Good man. Everybody watching appreciates the fact that you put him back in there so they can catch him. Somebody else come out here and catch that fish. There's All a whole right. bunch more down there too. So. All right. Well, we're going to. We're going to, if he gets on a big school, there was only a couple of them on this spot. So <laughs> he kind of surprised me that he whipped down there and whipped one out of there. That's that's a good sign. So maybe he can fish. We'll see. All right. Uh -huh. We're going to turn this off for a minute. It's a little bit addictive, isn't it? Man, this is like video game crappie fishing. All right. There's my little jig going down. All the way. First on it. Here comes the Oh, we got him. He Boom. got one. Boom. Yes, sir. In your face. <laughs> Don't doubt me. That is awesome. <laughs> Don't doubt me. I have located crappie. I have a spot locked on them. I have caught them with my down with my scope. Come on. Quit, 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 That's quit a nice quick. crappie, too. Yeah, it is. That is a solid one and three quarter pound crappie booyah there you go they like the dark fishing went on a hand on one of his hand tied rigs there you go that is about awesome that. and going back to the school i feel like i am successful now all back right. to the school for all you other florida guys to come over here and catch them all right we got to get him back to atlanta so all we're right, going to end this video here and guys we appreciate it these fish were uh doing the post spawn thing the spawn is uh winding down it looks like uh these fish are moving back out towards the mouth of the creek and out on the main lake flats and uh, we found these fish in about what 12 13 foot of water they're in a 12 8. Now hold on now you're gonna let me catch one before we go you're gonna let me catch a single crop yeah you got them they're on the live scope here all right so we're gonna we're one. gonna we're gonna end it here guys he's gonna let me catch one fish one and then we're fish gonna call and then we got it and i gotta roll all right we'll see you later thanks have guys a great weekend see you guys